Hello Cancer, welcome to your almost daily love reading. This is Chelsea. Thank you so much for subscribing to my channel. I really appreciate your love and support. Hope all is well with everyone. And Cancer, please bear in mind that this is a general reading and it will not resonate with each and every one of you. Time is an illusion in tarot, so this reading could resonate with you in the past, currently, or in the future, okay? Now Cancer, let's find out what are your love messages today. And I'm so sorry that your reading is late because I was sick yesterday and I could only manage to post five videos <laughs> i was under medication for my sinus infection as usual comes and goes but so the medicine actually made me really really drowsy so i couldn't manage to finish it but here i am i'm gonna start your reading now okay spirits and angels please show me important accurate love messages for cancer today Please show me more. By the way, I'm a Cancer Moon. So, and my boyfriend is too. Please show me more. Cancer, please bear in mind that roles can be reversed. It could either be you or the other person you're thinking about or dealing with, okay? So you've got the heart of font here, okay? So this speaks of commitment, high commitment, um, serious commitment, or for some of you, it could be a marriage situation. But with the five of pentacles beneath it, I feel like somebody could have left somebody out in the cold because they may not have self-control. <laughs> because the emperor is usually... Um, can be very, how do you say, they are very mature and they have a lot of self-control. But in reverse, yeah, they are basically, basically the opposite. Okay, they are acting very immature. But the thing is, the emperor is somebody older. Old, somebody older but acting really, really immature. Okay, the knight of wands right here. Could have lied, could have cheated, could have put you in a third party situation. In and out, non criminal energy here. Okay, and the results of that, somebody is... Somebody is um, leaving somebody out in the cold, abandon this person, okay? Whatever the case is, it could go vice versa. So the world is the upright position. It looks like cancer. I feel like somebody can't quite move on, right? With the Eight of Cups in reverse. So they want to move right back in. They want to close uh, a chapter, like a past chapter, and take a leap of faith. And also to reunite with the Three of Cups here. So it looks like cancer... This person could be um, trying to close an old chapter between you and them and start a new one with you because they still can't move on and they're struggling, they're missing you, they are crying. <laughs> what did I say crying? Okay, they must be crying then. But anyway, the love is, is right here. So it looks like maybe in the past, again, they could have put you in a third party situation. They could have cheated, could have lied again. I mean, it's very obvious because also we've got the Three of Cups here. But what I'm seeing also is that besides it being a third party situation in the past, but the Three of Cups could also indicate a reunion, a marriage, uh, an engagement, or, you know, a celebration. And the lovers is right here because look at the lovers. They're both naked. To me, you know, naked people are like babies right babies came out into the world naked so it's like a rebirth you know i feel like they want uh to they want a rebirth in your relationship between you two here with the world here another naked person right so look at this cancer so in the past they were uh, non-committal, cheating, lying, whatnot, and they have suffered it through, and maybe now they are starting to become more serious with the Hierophant card, possibly wanting to commit to you this time around, start over closing the old chapter and starting a new chapter with you, uh, rebirth in your new your connection. It's almost like starting from zero with the full card here, taking a leap of faith, in this connection with you all over again two of uh, swords is right here so it looks like somebody could have been uh, torn in between two person or it could also be an indication you see there could also be a choice here right 
but some of you there is a choice maybe a choice to hey you know should i reconcile or should i move on or should i choose be this person or should i choose the other person feeling really conflicted because there it does look like there's a two lovers here and two of swords so it looks like there is a choice that somebody is wanting to make having to make hmm split into two feeling indecisive all right queen of cups is in reverse so it looks like there is of course someone here could have you know in the past given a lot of love and care uh, emotions invested a lot of emotions into this connection yeah obviously because the eight of cups is in reverse here so number eight is almost ten so a lot of uh emotional investment in to this connection in the past but someone here wants to retrieve it and does not want to invest anymore See, pulling out with the six of pentacles in reverse, no longer wanting to invest into this connection or even a block, block communication with the two of swords here and, and liberate themselves from this past connection, this past player. <laughs> Let's see one more. Yeah, because somebody has learned their lessons. The hermit is to me, you know, after going through a heart time you know um they retrieve they isolate themselves and they think they reflect and and then they learn they learn all the lessons from the past and you know they become wiser so because the hermit is a very wise character right so cancer what i'm seeing here is that maybe I do see somebody in the past wanting to fix the things, you know, wanting to come back and wanting to undo the damages that they have done to this connection in hopes that maybe let's close this old chapter and let's start from, from zero as if we, you know, as if we just met for the first time ever. And let's start over, basically, you know, like nothing happened in the past. But it looks like also that somebody here is not sure if they should or should it right um they are thinking because they want to be wise with their decision they don't want to just you know uh fall back into this same old cycle with somebody from the past and for this to happen again whatever the tower in reverse here you know something could have been very shocking it has been found out and hence it led to the ending of your connection with this person but I do see that, yep, somebody in the past wanted to come back, but maybe another person is being conflicted or making a choice to actually liberate themselves from this connection and, you know, not wanting to invest anymore into this connection because they have, but they fear, the, they fear of this happening again, that they maybe they have problems in trusting this person because of whatever they did to you in the past, or vice versa. All right, Cancer, this is your reading. I hope you resonated. If you did, please hit like, share, and subscribe. And also, I have an announcement to make. I'm going to start a Patreon account where uh, it's for membership only, $10 a month, and you get all the extended reading. For example, like today's reading, if you want to dive deeper into it, for example, like what is going to be the most likely outcome? How do they feel about you? And what are the advice? And so on and so forth. Okay, Cancer. Um, but I haven't um, launched it yet. I will uh, soon, maybe in a couple of days. So I just want to make a quick announcement before that happens. But anyway, Cancer, this is your reading. And I post your video almost every single day. And I hope to see you tomorrow. Take care. Bye.